Okay, we're here in the, the Fada room at Packa Pride Guest Ranch, and we're looking at uh, several trays, both from the uh, initial seeded trays, the immature trays, all the way up to the most mature trays ready for harvest in the system here. And uh, what we're going to do here is just take you uh, through the chores of what it takes to harvest the fodder, uh, spread the next batch of seed, and uh, get the next batch ready for the next day. So here we are in the Pack of Pride fodder room, and we're going to take you through all the chores here. Uh, today's tasks uh, go through uh, each of the harvest, uh, seed prep, and seed spreading uh, tasks that we have. First off, I'm going to point out to you, I'm holding in my hand here the uh, All Essential Temperature Gauge. Uh, we want to watch uh, to make sure that our temperatures stay within that desired zone of temps. Uh, right now I'm aiming for between 60 and 65 degrees, and it happens to be a, a ideal right now at 60.4 degrees uh, with about 50% uh, humidity in there. So we're going to go ahead and place this in the room, uh, the lower section of the room here. I, I put it on a chair just so it's checking the temperatures down low uh, within the room versus high in the room. Because if you look at the trays here, you're going to notice that uh, the lower trays tend to get uh, the lower temps in the room and heat rises, so these upper trays uh, tend to get uh, the upper temps in the room. Every day in our system here we've got two trays that are ready for harvest. Uh, that's about 50 pounds of fodder. Today the two trays we're going to be looking at are right here uh, and we're going to pull them out and harvest them which is the next step. I, I usually put little notes on each of the trays here to denote when I first spread the seed there and watch them all along. First thing I'm going to do is just kind of lift it over the gutter here, put my uh, finger over the, the drain hole so that we don't get any excess water on the tray, and I'm just going to pull the tray on out from the shelf here. Here we go. Beautiful tray of fodder. This is weighing about uh, 25 pounds here. Uh, it's got some good length. I'm looking at the seed bed here. I'm always on the lookout for outbreaks of moss. I'm going to bring it over here to my, my tote. And it's so easy to remove the tray, uh, move the uh, fodder mat from the tray right here. And if you watch, this is simply how we're going to do it. As you can see, the, the fodder mat comes out in one fell swoop and leaving me the tray. This is going to go right over to the sink. I'll place that there for a moment because there's two other things we need to do. Back at the, uh, the tray here, you're going to notice that uh, when we take it out, the drain hole, uh, the drains actually uh, get, get some roots in there. So usually the, the, uh, the covers for the drains get stuck. So we're just going to pull that drain out there and we're going to go ahead and clean it out. A little tap in, get the roots out there. There we go. There's one one drain cap there and I'll rinse this out and get all those little parts out there as well and the second part is the overflow drain there we go those are the two drain caps there back over at the sink we're gonna now next up wash our trays for me this is as simple as a little running water the tray down here and I'll try to do this so that you're, you can see it. Quick rinse of the tray, a little focus on the, uh, the drains there if necessary. I can do the back part of that drain as well. Once I get a good rinse of the tray inside I'm also looking for slimy areas where some fermentation may have occurred. If that's the case I might need to scrub this tray a little bit more. Uh, in this instance, the, the, uh, the mat grew really well, so uh, all I need to do is just do a quick rinse of the tray. Next up, I'm going to take a spray bottle here. Uh, this is loaded with Simple Green. It's a non-toxic uh, cleanser, degreaser and such. I also have another spray bottle that uh, may have a chlorine bleach solution if I need to sanitize the tray. Uh, all I'm going to do here is just kind of spray the Simple Green in the tray. Get all my edges and everything coated. Gives it a nice cleaning there. 
I'm not going to rinse that. We're just going to take that right back over to its spot, place it back in line there, and we're going to unload the next tray. Now the next watering cycle is going to uh, take care of rinsing that tray for me. So let's go ahead and just uh, move on to that, that second one and unload it. There go once again right over to the two. Pull out from the top here near the drains and let it fall in. Here we go. Tray is going to go over here to the sink. I'm going to return back over here to the uh, fodder mat, grab my drain back out that the roots uh, grow in here. Tap it out. Get those roots plucked. There we go. So again, I will uh, go back here, rinse that tray out, and uh, rinse that tray out, spray it, and then reset it in the system. And I'll be back in a second. So with both of our washed trays returned uh, to our uh, fodder shelves here, we're going to let those trays uh, have a day of rest before they uh, get another batch of seed loaded into them. Uh, instead, I'm going to now take some empty trays here and load the next batch of seed. So uh, these two trays here are next. So let's go ahead and get some seed to go uh, spread inside that. Okay, so uh, in these two buckets, uh, I've got our uh, seed that has been soaking for 24 hours from the prior day's uh, preparation. We're going to go ahead and drain it and spread it into our trays. So first and foremost, uh, here it is, it's two buckets because the top bucket has a bunch of drain holes uh, dug into the, or drilled into it, as you can see. And we're going to let the water drain out of that. Inside the bucket is the seed. There you go. You can see that? Water's draining into that bottom bucket there. Once it's pretty much all drained out, this is about uh, 10 pounds of seed here. That's five pounds per tray that we're going to be spreading out here. And now that I've got that seed drained, I'm just going to save this uh, soaking water here. It's a bleach water solution. I'm going to save that for a second. We're going to use that again uh, to wash our next batch of seeds for tomorrow's uh, batch here. For now, I'm going to grab this next tray here and that we're going to load up and we're going to spread the seed in it. All right, quite simply all we're doing here is dividing that soaked seed in half and my handy uh, measured high-tech scoops here. I know that uh, I need three scoops of this to accurately get half of that batch. There we go. And once I've got my three scoops in the tray, a little shaking. It should be enough to spread around that seed evenly in, into the tray so that what I end up with is a tray spread with uh, a, a fairly even coated uh, layer of seed, a layer of grain down there. And then again, now we go back to its shelf. We put it in its spot. And we're gonna do the same for the next tray here. Take it. This instance here, I don't need to measure it out. That's the other half here, so I'm just gonna simply Turn the bucket over, a little tap. You can see the drain holes on the bottom of that bucket there. We'll use that again. There we go. And again, another shake. Spread that seed around. Try to get it as evenly coated in the tray as possible. And I try to do this without touching uh, too much of the seed, but if, if need be, I can kind of spread it just a little bit if I get some high spots in there. And that looks pretty good. Again, a, another well uh, spread seed tray. Load it back in. Good spot. Make sure our water tubes and everything are in place there and the drains are over the gutter space there. Okay, so that's uh, spreading the next batch of seed there. So now we're going to move on to preparing tomorrow's uh, batch of seed uh, in the drain buckets there. 
Okay, here we are with that uh, the the wash water or the the soak water from the previous day's uh, soaking of seed. Here, I'm going to reuse this to wash the next batch of seed. And I have two buckets here of uh, barley sitting in weight. I've got my uh, a pre-measured scoop here that tells me up to the line is two pounds of seed. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. That makes ten pounds of seed now in the wash water here. And all I'm going to do is we're going to take a, uh, a ladle with a strainer. We're going to give it a good stir. This is going to remove all the dirt uh, and uh, allow the chafe, any dead bugs. Uh, this is field run barley, so it tends to be dirtier. It's going to allow all that to rise to the top. What also is going to rise to the top is any unviable seed. Good seeds sink to the bottom. Bad seeds that uh, won't generally sprout are going to float to the top. I'm going to skim them off, tap them into a little catch container here. Any of that debris, extra seeds, chafe, uh, just take this outside, tap it out in front of the chickens, and they tend to love that little extra stuff there. Okay, so that's as simple as washing this seed here. Now what we're going to do is take our drain bucket, it's the one with all those holes in there, and we're going to transfer it. The, the wash seed right into that bucket. I'm going to give this bucket a little rinse to get the rest of that seed out there. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to take our drain bucket now filled with seed, give it a dose of fresh water. We're going to let that fill up the bucket here, cover the seed. Uh, we're going to give it about two inches of water above the seed there to allow the seeds to expand and still be within the water. And I'm going to add about uh, a tablespoon of bleach per gallon of water. I've got about four gallons in here. Generally, uh, that uh, amounts to pretty much just a splash of bleach there. We add the bleach to sanitize the seed coating uh, to kill any molds or fungus uh, that may be fungal spores that may be on the seed coating itself. Uh, and after that, uh, pretty much uh, the chlorine kind of gets washed away during the uh, first uh, watering cycle once it's spread into the trays there. So as this is filling up here, I'm going to just kind of swish it around, make sure that chlorine bleach gets. Uh, distributed in there and our buckets pretty much uh, got a good coating of water in there it's about two inches above the surface of the seed that's about it boom we're gonna cover it on up and I'm gonna just set it right here waiting for me for tomorrow right. to spread okay so we've got our fodder mats ready to go downstairs this is 50 pounds of fodder loaded in a tote we are upstairs in a loft in the barn here so Dragging this uh, heavy tote downstairs uh, on some steep stairs would uh, not be very conducive to an everyday chore. So instead we've got it hooked up in our tote to a pulley system here and we're going to quite simply just lower it downstairs through these double doors in the barn. And there we go. So I'm going to go downstairs, untie that, pull the rope up, uh, close the door here. Uh, the beauty of this is uh, every day when I come into the fodder room, I'm getting fresh air into the room every time I open these doors. Okay, we're back do down here in the barn with our fodder. It's pretty much ready to go out to the animals. One last thing we're going to do before we actually take it out to the hay feeders out there with them is we're going to add something to the tops of these fodder mats. We're going to top dress each of the fodder mats with a nice dosing of diatomaceous earth. It's simply a, a white powder. Uh, this is a natural dewormer. You could read more about it on the articles we've got written on the blog. It's also a source of trace minerals. And top dressing is quite simply just sprinkling it right over the top of the fodder mat here. There we go, just a nice scoop. 
no scientific measurements there, just a healthy scoop. I'm going to kind of brush it around there. That kind of gets the sprouts coated with an even amount of dust around there. And when the animals eat the sprouts, they're going to also eat the diatomaceous earth. And that's going to help their uh, health there. So next up, we'll take these out to the animals and uh, feed our alpacas uh, their sprouts.